It's both a concerning time and an exciting time in combating climate change. Without the carbon markets, we don't hit our targets in 2030. We need to start thinking about how to invest in projects going forward that are going to remove carbon significantly. We've been working on this issue for more than 40 years, always in collaboration with businesses and industries because we believe that in the end, it's the market economy that is going to put in place the solutions for a sustainable energy future. One of the major challenges that we're facing is how do you prove or certify that a carbon project is actually sequestering carbon and storing it? And how do you make sure that there is authenticity in these carbon projects? How do you know that the carbon credit you're purchasing hasn't been sold before? How do you know that it's um, actually high quality? That transparency and verifiability is so much easier on blockchain. Over the past year, we've been working with climate-focused fintechs and carbon removal companies to put their carbon removal inventory onto the XRP ledger. It was very important that the protocol we work with, that they are recognized by corporations, uh, that's a clean chain and that there's fast transactions possible. Both Ripple and XRPL have focused recently on how do you mitigate climate, how do we start creating the infrastructure and the tools to allow a lot of this change to happen. There's so many ways to generate carbon reductions from you know, planting a new forest to planting mangroves to direct air capture and burying. This ledger enables us to preserve the unique identity of what we do. The good news is we see lots of new initiatives emerging that further the transparency, the liquidity, and the depth of the carbon markets. To build the future, you have to innovate, and blockchain is the most innovative tool that we have. I think it's a super exciting time to be in the carbon capture and transformation space. For the first time, I guess, in human history, we have the tools.